Guten Tag, my name is Asimo. Hi Asimo. Chris Scott. Guten Tag, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fran Robinson and I will be your presenter for this demonstration. Thank you Asimo. Now, I always like to see Asimo dance, but did you enjoy it? Had Ihnen Asimo's task gefallen? Yeah? Give a round of applause. has gone through many trial and error to make us, I mean the robots, move and walk like me. Indeed they have, and now Asimo will explain the history of Honda robot development. And here is Asimo's Geschichte. Over to you, Asimo. Back in 1986, Honda engineers started to research by pedal walking, wanting to make helpful robots for people. At first, Honda made an experimental model called D0. This robot took five seconds just to take one step forward. Wow, it looks hard on the video. Yes, it was very hard. Since nobody had ever made a bipedal walking robot before, they started from researching how animals and humans are actually walking. Ah, so that's why the guy in the video is wearing the strange devices on his leg to simulate human walking. Mit diesen Sensoren wird der menschliche Bewegungsablauf erforscht. Okay. That's right. This robot named D2. This robot achieved first dynamic walking. The walking speed is 1.2 kilometers per hour. Different from the previous model, this robot was able to walk more like a human. As you see here on the model, this one is walking much faster than the previous one. Hey, Asma. And the next robot is E6. At this time, the control of leg movements was firmly established so that the robot is able to steady steps even walking on stairs or slopes. Ah, this one is much more human-like. We don't mention it again. Right. The next challenge was to attach the legs to a body and create a humanoid robot. In December 1996, Honda released prototype robot P2. P2 was the world's first self-regulating, two-legged humanoid walking robot. In October 2000, I, Asimo, was born. I have been to a lot of countries and have met more than 10 million people. Wow, 10 million people is a lot of people. And you'll see here that Asimo has actually met the king of Thailand, Kumipong, the König von Thailand which it was a great privilege, but also in 2002, Asimo was invited to ring the opening ceremony bell at the New York Stock Exchange. Another great honor, so you do get around, Asimo. Okay, thank you very much, Asimo, for sharing your history with us. Thank you. So now, Asimo, I'd like you to remind us of your walking, because this is an essential feature of Honda Robots. Bitte zeig uns, wie du gehst. Okay, Fred. Okay, Asimo. First, walking forward. <laughs> now he makes it look easy. And of course, I can walk backward. But I don't have to look behind, because the sensors installed in my body detect objects behind me. Wait, sensors? Ah, here we have the sensors that are around Asimo's body, so that he can move around without bumping into things. Okay, Asimo, very good. Not only walking back and forth, but I can do some more. Watch me carefully. Now, I never know quite what Asimo will do because he can do so many things. But he's getting very near that football, and you can see he has sensors here, so he can locate the football, and he likes to show off his balance technology. Ah, I see you, Asimo. 
Ein Fußball, das wird wohl jetzt passieren. Thanks everyone. In addition to the flexible walking ability, my upper body smoothly moves enables me to perform like this. Yes. Mm-hmm. 